Having a multilingual website is an excellent way to open up your brand to various different countries and people. There are multiple different ways that you can translate your website, and if you're using WordPress, it actually gets a lot easier. There are some excellent plugins out there to help you with that, and today I'm gonna to show you just how easy it can be. I'm going to show you just how easy it is to translate your website using a plugin called Translate Press. Let's jump in. So the first thing we're going to need to do is install the plugin. So from our WordPress dashboard, we'll go to plugins and we're going to add new. And from here, I'm just going to search for translate press. Then we'll simply click install now and activate the plugin. So once you have translate press installed, this is what your dashboard will look like. Here we can choose all the settings that we want for translate press, including which languages we want to support. We can choose our default language here and then whatever languages we want to add as well. So for this one, I'll use Spanish. Some other options you have down here are to adjust your language switcher. And the language switcher is what your users are going to use in order to navigate between the different languages on your site. Translate Press gives a lot of different options that you can use for this to make it look exactly how you want. Once this is all set up and to your likings, you can just hit save changes. So now let's start translating our content. So we'll go to our pages and then just choose whichever page you want to translate. So I'll translate the homepage here and we'll click edit. So now you'll notice when we're on our editor, we have this big blue translate button up here. And to start translating the page, we just have to click that. So there are a few different ways you can translate your pages. And first I'll show you how you can manually translate your page. So first we'll just make sure we have our default language selected and we'll choose what we want to translate. So on this page, I'm just going to translate our body copy and we'll click that. And we can see our translation options here. We see our English copy here, and then we can manually input the Spanish copy below. Once you're happy with that copy, you can click save. And something you'll notice is under our translation settings, anything that you manually input and is a human's translation, it'll show the little icon here showing that it was translated by a real person. So now let's just check that out to make sure it worked. So I'll exit the editor here and we can preview our page. So we have our language switcher down below that we talked about. And let's just change this from English to Spanish. And now you can see it shows our page translated to Spanish for us. Now, another thing that you can do with Translate Press is enable automatic translation as well. So if we go back to our settings under Translate Press, we'll click this automatic translation button. By default, this will be set to no, but we can enable this here and click yes. Now, one thing to note is in order to do this, you're gonna need to have a Google API key. If you need to set one up, you can visit the link right here and I'm gonna input mine and then save the changes. So now that we've entered our Google API key and automatic translation is turned on, we can go ahead and test this to make sure it worked. So let's navigate to our pages again, and we'll check out one of the pages we haven't already manually translated. So we already did our home page, so let's check out the about page, and we'll just view this one. Now we can see that this is our about page that we have currently set up in English, and if we go down to our language switcher again, we can change it to Spanish, and you can see that it automatically translates our page for us. This can be super awesome and save you a ton of time. Having the option to choose between automatic and manual translation makes Translate Press the apparent choice for a solid translation plugin. So as you can see, Translate Press is fantastic and does a really good job, but you might have other needs for your multilingual site and here's some other good options. One great choice is WPML. A lot of people consider WPML to be the gold standard in WordPress translation. It works with more than 40 languages and has over 600 integrations with various themes, plugins, and tools in the WordPress ecosystem. Another fantastic tool is Weglot. It is one of the few translation plugins that provide collaboration functionality right within its interface. Weglot can work with over 100 different languages and allows your teams to work alongside you as you work through your new multilingual site. Hopefully I was able to demystify making a multilingual site within WordPress and I appreciate you watching this video so much. Before you go though, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of new content coming out, especially when it comes to the world of AI and different tutorials for you. And we'll see you in the next video.